In this video, I'm going to summarize and interpret data that was recently released by Thailand's Real Estate Information Center that shows the performance of the market. This includes supply and demand figures within various residential segments, how the secondhand market condo is doing, and the purchase behavior of foreign buyers. All figures I will talk about are numbers that occurred in the first nine months of 2023, and the percentages are compared to the same period last year. I hope this data is useful to people considering property in Thailand who want real numbers, rather than just hot air that's often been blown out there, that's often just based on anecdotal incidents or even just downright prejudice. And I believe this video presents a large enough set of data points to form meaningful insights. It's not perfect, but I believe it's better than just talking out of your booty. And if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe for the best insights and opportunities in Thailand. And if you're looking to buy property in Thailand, we offer a personalized property finding service based on your needs. You can see the link in the video description to fill out a questionnaire about what you're looking for, and our top agents will find you exactly what you want at the best prices. Okay, so let's get started. Based on the report, Thailand's overall real estate sector in the first nine months of 2023 experienced a decline in both demand and supply. We saw reductions in land permit issuances for newly launched residential projects and residential units decreased by 16.9% and 16.4% respectively. This decrease is likely a result of developers adapting to a slow economic recovery. Meanwhile, nationwide demand, as represented in the number of residential transactions, has also decreased by 4.2%, and the report cited a few likely factors, such as the government's strict loan approval policy to prevent speculation, household debt that remains above 90% of GDP, and the raising of interest rates, which has been done five times consecutively. So overall residential figures nationwide don't look so good based on various economic factors, but if we go deeper into the different segments, we'll see the winners and losers. If you look at the top 10 provinces by residential transactions in the first nine months of 2023, Bangkok leads at around 66,600 units transacted, which is a 3.7% decrease from the same period, while transaction value totaled 290.4 billion, which is a 1.9% increase from the same period. Chonburi province, which includes Pattaya, is number two at around 25,500 units transacted, a 7.6% increase from the same period, while transaction value totaled 68.1 billion, which is a 17.1% increase. Numbers 3 to 5 were Samut Prakan, Nontaburi, and Patum Thani, which are suburbs of Bangkok. They all decreased in terms of transaction volume and mostly decreased as well in terms of transaction value. My hometown Chiang Mai came in at number 6 at just over 10,000 units transacted, which is a 1.8% growth and 25.4 billion in value, which is a 13% growth. Number 7 is Phuket at around 6,300 units transacted transacted with a 32.8% growth and 22.8 billion baht of value transacted, which is a huge 38.1% growth. And then we have numbers 8 to 10, which are Rayong next door to Chonburi, Nakhon Rashasima in the northeast, and Samut Sakhon, which is another Bangkok suburb. All these provinces saw a decline in both transaction volume and value. So you can see that even though nationwide figures had contracted, the major provinces are still experiencing healthy growth both in terms of transacted units and value. The key takeaway is stick to the major provinces, such as Bangkok, Chonburi, Chiang Mai, and Phuket. Now, if you zoom in and look at the number of condo transactions nationwide in the first nine months of 2023, a total of 78,813 units were transacted, which is roughly a 6% increase from the same period last year. As for the value of condo transactions, 224.5 billion baht was transacted, which is around a 14.5% increase from the same period last year. So, even though the overall residential real estate market nationwide saw a decline, the condo market specifically saw healthy growth. 
Then, when you look at the total value of condo transactions broken down by price segments in the first nine months of 2023, the top three best performers were the 7.5 to 10 million bot segment, which grew by 40.6% year over year, followed by the 5 to 7.5 million bot segment, which grew by 37.8%, and the over 10 million bot segment, which grew by 35%. The segment that saw a decline was the 2 to 3 million bot segment, which dropped by 8.5% year over year. So that means the high-end condo market was a really nice segment to be in this past year. Let's now look at the total number of secondhand condos listed on the market and the total listed value on the market, since some people love to claim that secondhand condos in Thailand never sell. Now, if this claim is true, then the total numbers will keep piling and we will see an upward trending graph. But based on actual data, the total number of secondhand condos listed on the market as represented by the blue line seems to be trending down, where each data point represents a quarter. In the latest quarter, which is Q3 of 2023, the total number of secondhand condos listed on the market was 42,401. As for the total value of secondhand condos listed on the market, Q3 saw a total of 299.7 billion baht listed. We see a big dip in Q4 of 2022 and Q1 of 2023, and that's probably because there was a spike in the number of condos sold after people gained confidence after COVID. Now, you could argue that these charts could be trending down because people simply gave up on selling their condos. But I would venture to say that that's extremely unlikely to be the case since you can keep listing your condo on the market for free. So there's really no reason why people who would want to sell their condos would take their listings down. And now we'll have a look at condo transactions by foreigners nationwide. In the first nine months of 2023, a total of 10,703 units changed hands compared to 6,781 in the same period last year, which is a 57% increase. You'll also see that we've since returned to pre-COVID numbers. In terms of condo transaction value by foreigners, 52.2 billion baht occurred in the first nine months of 2023 compared to 39.7 billion in the same period last year, which is roughly a 31% increase. You'll also see that transaction value has now exceeded pre-COVID numbers. This not only means there's been more competition for foreign quota condos, they've also been sold at higher prices. And now looking at whether foreigners bought new or secondhand condos, it seems like they are preferring secondhand condos more so than before at roughly 40% of all condo transactions. This is probably because of the increase in prices of new condos, which has caused people to look to cheaper alternatives. So based on the earlier chart that shows a decrease in the number of secondhand properties listed on the market, plus the fact that foreigners choose to purchase more secondhand condos than before, this should be good news for condo owners who are wondering whether they'll be able to resell their investments. Well, it seems like it's currently more likely than ever before. As for who your new foreign quota neighbors are going to be, 47% of foreign buyers were Chinese, followed by Russians at 6.6% and Myanmar at 4.3%. Now, if you're looking for someone you could speak fluent English with, there's Americans at 4%, British at 3.5% and Singaporeans at 1.9%. So to summarize the winners and losers in the first nine months of 2023, the winners were major provinces like Bangkok, Chonburi, Chiang Mai, and Phuket, which experienced growth in transaction volume and value despite a slight decrease in some areas. The condo market, where nationwide condo transactions increased by 6% in volume and 14.5% in value. High-end condos, priced above 5 million baht, showed substantial growth. Foreign buyers were also the winners. The market saw a large uptick in foreign transactions, especially in the secondhand condo market, with a 57% increase in units transacted and a 31% rise in value. The main buyers were from China, Russia, and Myanmar. 
And now for the losers, they were the overall residential market nationwide, since there was a decrease in demand and supply with reductions in land permit issuances and residential transactions. Suburbs of Bangkok, such as Samut Prakan, Nontaburi, and Patum Thani, they experienced declines in transaction volume and value. And also another loser were lower price condos, where the segment for condos priced between 2 to 3 million baht saw a decline. So I hope you found this information useful. And again, if you're looking to buy property in Thailand, we offer a personalized property finding service based on your needs. You can see the link in the video description to fill out a questionnaire about what you're looking for. And our top agents will find you exactly what you want at the best prices. Ciao.